Hey, Taurus, how are you all? Suddenly very happy to interact with you and I'll tell you why, because you know what? The eclipse and its heaviness finally is fading away. <laughs> it is fading away. I feel it. And so many other people have been talking about it, that, that whole chaos, confusion, not knowing what to do. Slowly, gradually, it's kind of going away. And I think as we go into the end of next week, we'll kind of be sorted mentally. However, do note that whatever the eclipse had to manifest, it's going to manifest still in a span of uh, three to six months. So let it do its work. As long as the mind is free, we are good to go. <laughs> and we'll go with the flow wherever the soul calls us, isn't it? All right, before we start the reading, thank you for each one of you who subscribe to my channel. It's overwhelming. Every time I get a new subscriber, I feel happy because it's like, one step ahead in my soul journey because a part of my soul calling is to reach out to as many people as I can and uh, channel the universe's guidance for them. I was meant to be on this journey to help people transform in their spiritual journey and the more people come to me, the more happy I feel because it's at the end of the day, the same soul family. So please do subscribe if you haven't just as yet. And for those of you who have already, thank you very much. You're reading. All right. I think you've been battling a lot of things, right? a lot of chaos around you, and it's, it's not been easy on you because uh, it was about people or equations that were concerning you, very close to you, but then you had to battle through all of these situations to be wherever you are today. But at the end of the day, you're like a wounded warrior. The wounds have not yet healed. I think there's a lot of healing work to be done. However, it tells me that you do have the energy and the love within yourself for your own soul to heal those wounds and be in a state where you can manifest your true happiness. But what's stopping you is is the high priestess. And when we did the clarifier, even though it is a general reading, and I, I, I kind of don't know uh, if all of you will resonate with it or not. If not, then uh, I'm sorry, maybe the other message is for you. But then this message for whoever it resonates with, I have to tell you this. That something about your love life was blocked because of a lady. A lady that you respect a lot, a lady whom you love a lot, someone who is extremely good looking and is in a position of authority and is is also abundant. However, for whatever reason, whether it was spiritually designed that way or it was a karmic lesson for you to learn, this lady was like a block in your romantic life. She was stopping you from from being emotional. There was this block in your heart chakra. Whether it's because of the responsibilities that you have towards this lady or this lady being so controlling that she didn't want you to go away. Uh, could be a mother or a motherly figure also for a few of you. Overall, every time you would fall in love, you would never be able to pursue it further. And every time that you would be in a relationship, Maybe you were not able to give so much love and affection and the warmth that your partner expected. And all of this is because of this energy that was trying to control you. However, now we have the hanged man, which is a card of spiritual evolution where you're supposed to connect with your soul and your soul is supposed to get the divine guidance and the divine healing. And that's why you're going through these conflicts within your own mind where you're confused. You're confused if you should get married or not. You're confused if you should have a happy family of your own or not. Or should you always be in service to whoever that you've been serving? Right? Well, I do see, I do see love and commitment coming into your life. I see abundance coming into your life. And those who are already in a committed relationship, I must tell you that it's not just love, commitment, compassion, passion. It's also about a child. There is some good news that is going to come either to you or in the family. 
there is a lot of past life connection that you've had to go through and there, the lessons were so brutal that you had to go through the heartache and it's been very taxing on you. And because of these energies and the karmic lessons, what had happened to you is that you'd become very materialistic and authoritative and you'd stop connecting with your own inner self. But as your soul evolves and as justice is served, you will realize that whoever it is in your life is your soulmate. Or the story could be reversed as well. Maybe you are a person, the person that you're with did not realize all this. And they were going through these blocks, irrespective. There is a realization that the person is your soulmate and now you are ready to work together with them. The problems in your past were about you clinging to the past and you were letting your mind be controlled by those who wanted to control you. You were in isolation with your own soul and, and you were not letting your mind be free of the clutches of these people, the circumstances or your own fears or your past experiences. But now it is changing. Now you're transforming. The universe, the creator, the source, whatever that you believe in, if you want to call him God, then call him God. If you have names of God, which could be Jesus, Allah, or any of the Hindu gods or the Jews, irrespective of who you think is the creator or the source of your soul energy, is now showering his blessings so that you move away from this isolation, the part that had frozen your heart, the part that had let your mind wander to so many places and lose its control so that others could manipulate it. All of that is now going as you transform and turn into your inner soul and the power of your soul. You are now ready to manifest all the good things in your life you're getting back into your playful state, the child like you that loves to joke around, have fun, right? You're, you're getting into your playfulness and eventually, yes, there is a reason to celebrate. I think the way the story comes out is that you are on a path of soulful evolution. And yes, you are blessed because the creator himself is showering his blessings. You also have the sun card who is the center of our universe, the galaxy that we believe in. You're going to be blessed with something beautiful with respect to your life, especially your love life. Amazingness coming to you soon. <laughs> Watch out for that and take care of yourself. God bless you.